journey here to Westeros, Scotland has been more than just a trip. For me, it's been a life journey. For me, extreme triathlon is uh, challenging and painful. I love it. And every race has its own, own charm. For me, extreme triathlon is all about the journey, getting ready for it, and then the journey of the actual race. So you could call it a way of life. Welcome to Kelban 2016. We're really proud to have people here from 39 countries. This is our fifth running of the event and it's going to be spectacular. Kelban was a huge step out of my comfort zone, but so worth it. During the journey to the starting line, I learned so much about myself. The atmosphere here is amazing and the scenery is breathtaking. Here in Scotland, uh, they embrace the Scottish uh, history. The feeling before the start when they light up the Gatman logo is just, uh, I get goosebumps now when I'm talking about it. There I was, together with over 200 athletes sharing this moment, waiting for the race to begin. It, it was such a perfect moment, I just wanted to press pause on my life. in the top three or along the swim, so it was uh, not so crowded for me. A lot of jellyfish though, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, when I saw the exit of the water, I felt, uh, felt good. I uh, had a lot of uh, power left in my arms, so I can uh, go fast the last way and uh, run through the T1 and caught up with many guys in the T1, so I was the first one out on the bike. Coming out of the water onto the bike, I was quite happy to just go out in my tri suit without any extra layers and so on. So I felt good and ready to go. It's cold. Thank you. I think I was third or fourth at that stage, so I was pleasantly surprised because I'm used to having to catch more people on the bike. It was good and not good because then I got a bit excited and I, I probably cycled a bit too fast. The first uh, 100 kilometers I felt uh, good. At the last part I didn't have uh, much power left in my legs so I just uh, took it a bit easy and prepared for the run. Um, and started the run. I sort of know it's a very long race. I know it's a very challenging run. I just trotted along Cullen Pass just to save myself a little bit for the mountain. Uh, the athlete when, uh, that passed me on the bike, when I caught up with him, he was, uh, he was walking and I was running uh, really fast in the, in the flat parts of the course. So I, uh, when I got to the T2A, I had uh, a big lead. It was a good feeling uh, starting the climb. I was obviously 
obviously secretly keen on a victory, but I never felt like it was guaranteed until the finish line, especially in a race like Kelman, but any race, I think anything can happen up until the very end of the race. Uh, when I crossed, crossed the finish line, I felt uh, good. A bit disappointed because of the, <laughs> because of the, uh, the track record, uh, because I didn't know about the record, that I had it in reach before uh, I got uh, two kilometers down here. So I was running hard the last two Ks, but uh, yeah, I could have really taken a record if I knew about it before. I think I couldn't really believe that I won. I thought, I'm not sure whether it's still sunken in, but I'm obviously so happy because so many people supported me. Like here on the event, I had the best supporters ever. And leading up to the race, so many people have been helping me out. Last year, white, this blue shirt, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Look, it's, it's probably the ultimate endurance triathlon, you know, sort of Ironman distance. Um, it's so much more difficult than, than any Ironman I've done. Uh, you know, the bike, the bike you can sort of tolerate an extra 20 k's doesn't, doesn't make much difference. Um, but that run, climbing Benay is, yeah, something else. Are you happy? I'm thrilled to be finished right now. Yeah, now I'm happy. I'm happy. It's 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 a thrilling experience. It's yeah, you know, it's a, it's an emotional uh, experience to to cross the line. Ask me right now if I do it again, I will slap you in the face. But ask me tomorrow, and I would say, yeah, Where do I sign up? <laughs>